Hello friends and welcome back to a, another hair tutorial here on my channel, Putting Up With The Pom Pons. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install these gorgeous butterfly locks and my tips and tricks on how to achieve this look. First of all and foremost, before we even get started, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Come and join the family. We would love to have you if you are a returning subscriber. Hey, bestie, how you doing? Hope you are being blessed and safe as always. We're going to go ahead and jump straight into the video. friends and welcome back to another hair review here on my channel in this video i will be doing these crochet butterfly locks and i'll be letting you know whether or not these are a goodbye or a goodbye get out of here we don't we don't need these in our life so stay tuned so you can see my final review and honest opinion on whether or not these locks are it or not Jumping straight into it, wasting no time whatsoever. I am going in with my hair being freshly washed and I let it dry overnight. I think I wore like a headband wig the next day because I got lazy. So anyways, our hair is dry so I have to apply some water to help with, uh, you know, detangling and, you know, manageability. It makes it a little bit easier to work with when I'm trying to create my part. So I'm going straight back with these Miel Twisty Souffle. This is the leave-in conditioner, moisture moisturizer that I choose to use uh, mainly because it's just been sitting on the shelf collecting dust and I decided to give it another debut on my videos so as you can see I'm doing a straight back corn roll and you may have noticed that I have like this you know little beady bead back there that I forgot I am very sensitive at the nape of my neck where that hair grows like it's just very very sensitive and when I braid it up it just causes a lot of tension and irritation so I tend to leave that part out you you know how like y'all like to you leave out you know your edges because that's the sensitive part for you well for me it's the nape of my neck for my braid pattern i tried to go in with like singles on the crown area and i did cornrows everywhere else my hair is still super super short so for my ends all i did was just crochet them bad boys back up into the cornrow just a simple loop through pull and them suckers stayed right there no problems whatsoever and then i'm going to jump y'all see on them bdbs i know y'all see them it is it is bad back there, but I just, I can't, I can't break that stuff up. All right, so this is pretty much me just opening up the hair so you can see what all came in there. Of course, it came with a crochet needle as always. It came with, I think, five to six packs of hair. Um, all that will be disclosed at the end of the video. So let's talk about my struggles with installing this hair, first of all. So usually when I do my crochet faux locks, I take, like, you see how I have my individuals around my crown? So the plan was to take those individuals and shimmy them through the center of the lock because that's how I've previously installed my locks. This is my first time really dealing with butterfly locks. So I was a little new to this. So once I realized I could not shimmy my freaking hair through the center, I had to go back and braid all those individuals down to make it look like a corn roll because I didn't want to have to redo the entire braiding pattern. So I'm just installing these locks like a regular crochet lock, like the regular degla way, nothing special or anything, which wasn't bad. It was not completely bad, but it it wasn't what my heart was set on. I was set on having the individuals in the crown area and everything else was gonna be crocheted in. So I could still have like that individual look, but we saved like a good two hours on doing our hair because I just crocheted the rest of my hair in. So after I do all this, I finish the look. This is what it looks like afterwards. Again, it doesn't look completely bad. It just it, it just wasn't what I was envisioning. When I envision my protective style, a look that I plan on slaying for the next couple of weeks, it has to come out perfectly the way that I envision it. If not, I'm frustrated, I'm furiated, I, I, I couldn't do it. So what I end up doing is going back and taking out the crown area because this was all of the hair that they sent me. This is all the hair in my head. So I ended up having to like carefully remove the lock so I didn't mess them up too much because I was gonna have to reuse them. And I decided to install them a little bit differently. Thank you. 
So I'm showing you this so in case you do just decide to crochet the hair in just a regular crochet faux lock way, you know what it looks like. And again, it doesn't look entirely bad. I would still wear it, but it's just not what I had my heart set on. So I ended up going to my local beauty supply store and picking up some water wave hair so that I can do the individuals that I originally had my heart set on doing to begin with. So I had to take out that crown area and pretty much put the individuals back where they were. So what I'm doing is I'm crocheting the lock in first, then I'm gonna crochet in the water wave hair. And I, as you can see, I have that ombre effect with the water wave hair, so it kind of blends in with my roots which was like perfect perfection okay so what I'm doing is I'm pulling it to where pretty much all of the 350 color is laid down with the lock and all of the ombre black in 350 is pretty much pulled all the way out and we're gonna wrap that sucker up that's all we're doing so this was my first time actually like wrapping a lock I've never I've never wrapped a lock. I've always done just like faux locks and I shimmied my hair through the center of them. So this was really, really new to me. Very kind of like awkward, but I'm pr like proud of myself. I think it turned out very well. So I'm taking my time. This is in real time. I didn't speed it up just so you can just see how awkwardly I am and how careful I'm trying to do this. So I try not to do it too tight because again, these are butterfly locks. So it's supposed to give that, you know, that easy going distressed look. So, you know, take your time there's no need to rush there's no need to make it like perfectly tight or anything like that I just try to make sure I wrap it going all the way down so I can conceal my entire plait and then that little bit of hair that I have left over from the second half of the hair because as you can see we still have that curly part left over I'm just going to pick that up and wrap that sucker on around too until we can't wrap it no more and then at the end we're gonna take a little bit of nail glue and just uh, conceal it and then that was it that'll be it All right, y'all, so uh, this is the completed look now. I took two little pieces and tied it in the back just to keep like the hair from falling in my face as I'm sitting here recording. Let's go ahead and talk about the details on this hair. So I was uh, sent these uh, locks through Amazon, um, the ZRQ hair. I recently, or not recently, but I've previously done a, another review on their butterfly locks. They had sent me like their earlier like rendition of what they thought were butterfly locks. Not my favorite whatsoever. And I made it very clear in that video. Even though the overall look, I really love the overall look, the individual locks themselves, I did not like these are much, much better. Like these look like a butterfly lock to me. Now the color is 350. It advertises as 20 inches, but in the title it says 18 inches long. I did not physically measure these. Matter of fact, I got my tape measure right here luckily. So we're gonna like actually measure how long these are because I'm not sure if they're 20 or 18. And they're 20, they're 20 inches. Okay, you get six packs for under $45. So I feel like that's not too bad considering that going to my local beauty supply store, picking up a pack of locks is anywhere from seven to $10, depending on the style, the length and all that good stuff. So I usually pick up anywhere from five to six packs of locks when I go to my local beauty supply store. So I will spend anywhere between 50 to $70 locally. So I feel like the price point is very like budget friendly because y'all know I am a frugal individual. This is it. This 
is what I am looking for when it comes to uh, my locks. This is what I need to see when it comes to my butterfly locks. Like these are giving me summer body. These are giving me Miami Beach. These are giving me vacation vibes. Like I love everything about these and I definitely will be trying these again because I mean, and the price point is like perfect. Absolutely perfect. Budget friendly. I love everything about it. Maybe like my week two of wearing this style, I'll probably go and like cut them and wear them as a bob and just rubber band the ends so they don't unravel. So I'll definitely be showing that look on my Instagram page. So make sure y'all are following me on Instagram so you can kind of see what these look like in a bob because I really want to see what these look like shorter because y'all know I love me a bob. So thank you guys for joining us on another video. If you stuck it out for this entire video, I greatly appreciate you. Don't forget to uh, check out our other many protective styles and crochet styles here on my channel and hair reviews and again if you really love this look and you want to try it on yourself don't forget to click the link in my bio where you can purchase of course purchasing through the links that I provide in my bio definitely helps with building my channel and I greatly appreciate it so we can bring more hair reviews and tutorials here on my channel thank you guys and we will see y'all on another one be blessed and be safe